Yay! Welcome to Love Vibe TV. I am your hostess, Reverend Lunch Lady, and I'm so glad you're here. Here in the, I like to call this the unicorn pasture. You know, it's the worldwide headquarters of Super Loved. And today I want to go talk about these things from our past that keep us from actually stepping into a new level of relationship. And if you've ever had that feeling like, oh no, I don't want to, I don't want to make that same mistake again. I don't, you know, I better be extra careful this time or wow, I better not get it wrong. I have to do it way different. And there's almost like this white knuckle um, feeling around dating and relationships that is completely opposite of what you would like to have with a person, then this is the video for you. So if you have been watching this channel and you like it, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and let's get into it because um, I made a little banner. So this is the this one thing is the key for actually healing the past and stopping recreating the same problems over and over again. You've probably heard people say things like, oh, you know what? I just keep attracting the same guy, different face, same guy. And that, um, yeah, that can be really disappointing. And if we are on the lookout and we're really protecting ourselves from not doing it wrong, then um, we are not going to be able to move forward for something else. So this is the one thing, and I really am just talking about one thing. Are there many things that you can do or that you may require to facilitate some of the inner stuff that may be holding you back or sabotaging you? Maybe there's, I mean, there's a lot we can talk about there, but um, this video isn't meant for you to listen to it and think, oh, wow, this is going to be a ton of work. I'm never going to get through all this. So when am I going to ever be able to stop doing all this work? Well, I don't know. Personally, I actually really enjoy being on this path of, of growth and exploration. I don't even like to call it growth as much as that's the byproduct of it. It's really, okay, what am I evolving into? What's exciting me now? And and expanding and growing. And naturally, our life is shaping us in different ways. But when it comes to relationships and we're getting um, hooked onto the past trauma and fear and um, all the things that those incidents created for our self-concept or who we think we are as a result of that. So for example, if you have had, you know, abusive relationships in the past, you may have this idea about yourself that, wow, I must not be lovable or I must not be worthy. So if we just kind of leave it at that, we don't have a strategy or a plan or a way of looking at our life to choose something different, then it's a really painful place. I mean, obviously, if you're feeling unlovable and you're feeling you're not worthy for what it is you would really like, I want you to know that that's definitely not true. Not like I convince, can convince you in this video, but, um, but the truth is that any of those heavy feelings and the the stuff that is attacking it's like oh you can't have that it's the inner critic voice it's i talk about this all the time it's those beliefs that when you even speak them it feels like oh it's got a heaviness to it it's depressing it's it's stops you from being able to have something else so so that is something to be aware of. It's key to be aware that if you're feeling 
bad about your life or you're having a lot of heavy emotions coming up or you keep seeing these patterns over and over again, that that is something that is a belief that you've bought as real or true that isn't because you being you and you right here and now, just the the infinite being that is you is lovable, is worthy inherently. Like there's nothing that you can do or um, choose that changes that. So, you know, as confusing as that can be when you look at, well, you know, what about a serial killer? Or what about a rapist? Or what about a child molester or something like that? It's like, you know, the external part of that is just one level of it. Like every person, every soul is an energy. And, um, you know, we make choices. We make choices and we create our life. And everyone has an opportunity to make those choices. So what I wanted to bring to you here today, the one thing is that you are not the same person today as you were yesterday. You are not the same person that you were when you chose the other relationships you've been in that didn't work out. So if we don't acknowledge that, so this is as simple as it is. If you don't acknowledge that you are new every moment, that every moment you have a new space to play with, that every moment your history doesn't even matter, that every moment you can be present and choose from there, and that all of these things that you've collected over time don't have to be reference points. They don't. They really, really don't. So how many times are you going into a date, going into it from the place of, I'm so wounded, bringing every single piece of luggage with you. So you got this whole like, you know, hotel cart train of baggage because you're like, well, this is who I am. I'm this failed relationship. I'm this failed relationship. I'm this divorced, you know, a child of a divorced parents. I'm, you know, this, 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 all of these things that have become clouding the space that is actually you, which you are here and now, and you don't even have to go there. So the one thing is that you are not the same person you were before. And I know when I'm working with my super love clients, so many times it that's a really great reminder because I'll hear people say something like, well, you know, they are like this, or when you do this, they're, you know, I know because that's what they're like. And there's this generalization of people and online dating and what you can have and what you can't have that then becomes these lenses where then there's very limited spots for you to have more choices. So what if you can take all that away, come back to you and decide, okay, if today was the first day of my life, like what can I choose? And yes, of course, if there's really bad pain and trauma from your past that hasn't been cared for or hasn't is calling your attention, then what other things you can ask? That's that's key. You're the only one who's going to be able to bring yourself to get that coaching or the support or do the deeper inner work. Like I do re regenerating images and memory. It's a really powerful process to get under the surface, to get to the source of these things that we may not even be conscious of. Most of it, we're not. So, you know, this is a very simple on the surface tool of, okay, 
can I remind myself that, you know, I'm not the 20 year old girl that got into that marriage that lasted 20 years. And now I'm out like, how do I date? You know, I'm not that same person. So that person who I was then made that choice. And it may, you know, there's also no reason to beat yourself up for that because you knew what you knew at the time. And we all make the best choices we can in the moment. And then we get the information. So, so between remembering that you're not the same person and making the choice to not criticize yourself from hindsight, which is never going to be helpful. I mean, you may have awarenesses. Oh, yeah. I now know that, you know, I really like being with someone who is active like me. I really love being with someone who has the same value of traveling the world. And then you get to honor that. So I hope this was helpful to remind you that every moment you have choice, you live in a you have choice universe. So anywhere where you decided you're in a universe of no choice, will you please destroy and uncreate that? We could do a little clearing. So anywhere where you've decided you're in a no choice universe, whatever the energy that brings up, destroy and uncreate it. I like clearing that out so that you might remind yourself, okay, what if I didn't have to pull the baggage train everywhere I go into the new relationship and then try to micromanage, be that helicopter mom of my love life to make sure I don't get it wrong this time? I mean, that's huge. Like how much of control are you trying to put on yourself because you've decided that you really fucked it up all those other times when actually you made a choice in the moment that was the best choice for you then, knowing what you know. So let's bring some kindness to this. You are not the same person you were then. And here and now, you get to choose again. You get to choose. And I know that if you are watching this, then you are on a you are on this path you're here wanting to know something different for yourself and these videos are meant to give you little tweaks every time you watch one even watching one more than once can be really helpful because you're going to get different bits each time and the energy just shifts and shifts and shifts it's like when you're trying to watch your a plant grow, you're not going to see it grow, but you come back and you're like, wow, that grew. <laughs> you are, you are doing the same thing. So you can come at it. Like I said, in one of the previous videos, it's like, okay, how can I do this more with joy and not, not expect that I'm going to need to go through so much pain in order to change? What if in this moment you can remind yourself that you're not the same person as the past and you're here and now, what can I choose now? All right, thanks for being here. So great to have you here. If you're curious about coaching or classes, I put a whole bunch of stuff in the description so you can take a look-see and we will see you on another episode. Hallelunicorn. So glad you're here.